covering the Northern Bahamas? You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. A major international outreach initiative is coming to Grand Bahama. The 10-day event, dubbed the Bahamas for Jesus, is expected to attract some 300 international delegates. A meeting was held with pastors on Monday at the Freeport Bible Church to discuss plans for the November event. Senior pastor of Bahamas Faith Ministry, Dave Burrow, says they will visit all of the islands in the country. It's actually a working event, so they are coming to help the Bahamas. And the, the motivation behind it is because all of us realize that the Bahamas has issues. We have problems. And one of the things that we know reduces problems is when people are introduced to Christ and live a Christian lifestyle. Um, my life is a testimony. Many others you know, are great testimonies of the fact that um, when you get into a relationship with Christ and you live a Christian lifestyle, crime goes down. So we are helping the Bahamas on several different fronts. Dr. James Harvith from Chicago, Illinois says the idea was adopted from an initiative called World for Jesus that was recently held in the Philippines. We brought 175 uh, different ministries with us into the Philippines. We did uh, crusades simultaneously in a 10 day window in 52 cities. So the entire nation, it's a, it's a national event, uh, it's not just a local event. So for here for the Bahamas, Bahamas for Jesus, you have 17, uh, I understand correct, inhabited islands. And so we will be, uh, we'll have presence in uh, all 17 of the islands. So it's, it's for the entire nation. And uh, what we're doing, what we're doing is coming in to partner with and help the local church, to build the, lo the local church. We, that's our, we don't have any other agenda except for to build the kingdom of God. For more information, interested persons can contact Bahamas Faith Ministries or go to www.bahamas4jesus.com. This is Catholic Schools Week and Mary Star of the Sea Catholic Academy has a full list of activities planned for students and former students of Catholic schools on Grand Bahama. Kimberly Mullings fills us in. 44 years ago, the National Catholic Educational Association in the U.S. started celebrating Catholic schools. The Bahamas Diocese of Catholic Schools has adopted this celebration now for the past nine years. The Crusaders have always had Spirit Week, but in recent times changed it to celebrate Catholic Schools Week. Principal Joy Ritchie Green says that it is important for Mary Star of the Sea to be a part of celebrating their Catholic education. What we have done is incorporated an entire week of activities that speak to what this motto says in an attempt to, one, help our students understand what Catholic education is all about hopefully to help them appreciate what it is that they are getting in a Catholic institution, as well as to express that to the wider community. One of the coordinators for Catholic Schools Week, teacher Evelyn Edgecombe Nesbitt, says events have been planned with this year's theme in mind. Learn, serve, lead, succeed. Our primary students will be visiting other government school as a, as a time to learn and to serve and to appreciate other schools while showing off their Catholic identity. Another thing we talk, we, we are going to do that's major is also like a concert that goes with legends. So they have to research certain legends, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and then they have to reenact some of their songs, which is an enjoyable time for them. Also, it's a term, time for learning. We have um, um, trivia going on. And so they will represent their, the different houses at their school doing this. Friday morning, there will be a walkathon from the school to Tino Beach to encourage fellowship among the students and staff. Mary Star of the Sea Catholic Academy is calling all graduates of Catholic institutions on Grand Bahama, St. Vincent de Paul, Mary Star of the Sea, Grand Bahama Catholic High School, and even the Academy to support their jazz night and silent auction in the school's courtyard Friday evening in an effort to establish an alumni association on the island. Efforts have been done, but we are really making a concerted effort to get all graduates here in Grand Bahama together to further carry on the legacy that we 
have started that we were once a part of and be a part of it, to keep it going. We are featuring, you don't want to miss this, the Uppercut Band, who has the legendary Dave Markey of the T-Connection. Kimberly Mullings, ZNAS Network News. And now it is time to ask the doctor. Welcome to Ask the Doctor. Daryl from New Providence asks, I read recently that annual checkups are not helpful if you are healthy. Is this true? Daryl, thanks for an interesting question. There are healthcare theorists and planners who argue that there is not much evidence that an annual exam provides good enough health outcomes to justify the cost. But there are still many good reasons to visit your doctor for an annual checkup. Annual physical exams are a vital part of illness prevention and intervention if necessary. While many persons make sure that their children have routine doctor visits, as adults, too many of us neglect this important key to maintaining good physical health. Doctors can use an annual exam to keep abreast of signs and symptoms that could lead to a serious illness. During an exam, your doctor will ask you about your family history and note your vital signs including your blood pressure, heart rate, respiration rate, and temperature. They can also note changes in your heart, lungs, eyes, skin, and extremities. As we mature and age, the annual exam can also become a useful screening opportunity for certain cancers, as well as serious conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. Avoiding an annual checkup can increase your risk of developing more serious medical conditions in the future. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Don't go away, a check on sports is up next with Ricardo Lightborn.